Okay, today we're gonna talk about intercoolers and some of the design considerations when you wanna put a front mount intercooler on your car. But disclaimer, if your car doesn't have a turbo to begin with, hindi pwede lagyan ng intercooler, so stop asking. So most of the cars that actually get installed with intercoolers are turbocharged, whether it be gas or diesel. So here we have an Altera that's obviously a three liter turbo diesel. And then this is the stock intercooler. You can see pretty small and the stock orientation is actually like this both of the pipes are all on one side uh, if you look around on the internet most of the coolers you will see are the ones that have the inlet and outlet on opposite sides uh, most of the new cars right now Fortuner, Montero, Terra all of them have left to right inlet and outlet so that's not a problem. But for older cars like this one and particularly the Hyundai Accent and to some extent the Mitsubishi Eclipse, they have this style of intercooler where the in and out are on the same side. So ideally what you want when you do a front mount system, you have this same in and out on the same side, whether it's on the left or it's on the right. And the reason for this is you want to avoid excessively long piping. So here's what we have on our Altera. Both inlet and outlet are here on the same side so that the piping going up here to the engine is still pretty much the same configuration as stock. So this is the turbo, the air goes here, goes to the inner cooler, then comes out here to the throttle. If we didn't have this same side in and out, we will have to have an extra length of tube that comes from here goes back around here and goes back up there yes that will work but obviously it's not very ideal and that's not exactly the correct way you're supposed to do it so most of the other shops just do that because they can't cut and weld aluminum and one of the things that's more important is it you don't just cut this and then leap at it here no it will not work if you just simply do that and so piping we also use mostly is aluminum. Uh, why aluminum? Well, every other intercooler maker in the world uses aluminum. Every rally car in the world uses aluminum. Every race car in the world uses aluminum. There will be some shops who use stainless steel because once again, they cannot weld aluminum. They don't have the materials. They don't buy it. Uh, it's like this one, aluminum elbow. You cannot buy this in the Philippines. I have to have this specially made and I import a bunch of this just for our own shop use. So that's why we can do aluminum intercooler piping. And as for the question is, was aluminum better than stainless, which is hotter? Neither. <laughs> the temperature inside the engine bay, let's say it's around 70 degrees. It's 70 degrees, whether it's aluminum or stainless. So one is not better than the other when it comes to heat conductivity. It's just that, you know, why, why change? Everybody in the world is using aluminum. Plus, Aluminum you can is easily is easier to paint and any color can be powder coated, can be spray painted, can be wrinkle coated, while stainless well not exactly. If you paint stainless steel, you can actually easy scratch easily scratch it off. Pag natoyo, mas mabilis mabakbak compared to when you paint aluminum.